Click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Scientist Abu Rahan al-Biruni, Part 5 After Abu Rahan returned to Khwarezm and settled there, he continued his scientific researches and studies. Under the patronage of Prince al-Mamun ibn al-Mamun, the sponsor of science and scientists back then, but the Ghaznians took over Khwarezm. Sultan Mahmud al Ghaznawi became the new ruler of Khwarezm. How would be the attitude of Sultan Mahmud towards scientists in general, particularly Abu Rahan? Empty the library of the palace from all of the books that it contains. What are we going to do with it, Your Majesty? What kind of question is this, Minister? What are books used for? I'm not planning to stay in Khwarezm for long. I'm setting off to Ghazna, and I'm taking the books with me. To add them to the library of my palace there. Also, I'm taking these scientists with me to Ghazna. You are Abu Rahan al-Biruni, aren't you? Yes, Your Majesty. You were close to Prince al-Mamun. Yes, he was passionate about science and he attended to scientists. He did me many favors. I can't ensure your devotion to me. Your devotion must have been to al Mamun alone. And this is why you aren't coming to Ghazna with us. As you wish, Your Majesty. May Your Majesty allow me say a word? You may speak, Minister. I think that it would be wise to take al Biruni with us as he is a scientist that everyone certifies his importance, his profound knowledge and his devotion to it. But I want his devotion to be to me. If you show devotion to science, Your Majesty, you'll find us devoted to it as well. What? I have been to many countries and I have became acquainted with many rulers. It was knowledge that strengthened my relation with them. Some of them became my friends because we agreed on the importance of knowledge and the necessity of devotion to it. Huh! Friends? Yes, Your Majesty, our love for knowledge brings us together. I don't have less love for knowledge than those rulers that you became acquainted with, Baruni. You're coming with us to Ghazna. No, you'll be at the head of the scientists who I'm taking with me. And this is how Abu Rahan departed to Ghazna. And thus a new phase of the life of the prominent scientists started. The relationship between al-Biruni and Sultan Mahmud became stronger, and he accompanied the Sultan in all of his journey. Your Majesty, I didn't train for fighting. So how can I accompany the army in the next battle? You aren't going to accompany the soldiers, Baruni. You'll have your separate tent. You will be able to explore new places, do your experiments, do your researches, and record your notes. If it's going to be like this, then it's fine. I'm rather looking forward to going on this journey. You have to meet the guests who are coming to the assembly today. There will be literateurs, thinkers, scientists, and philosophers. The passion for Sultan Mahmud about science became clear to Biruni. He met tens of scientists in his court. He had discussions and debates with them. The way the relationship of al-Biruni and Sultan Mahmud was strong, there was an established connection to Masood, his son, and this connection became even stronger. Your Majesty, Masood, I have a request. Sure, Al-Biruni. 
As you know, we're close to India. Yes. For a long time, I have been aspiring to go to India and stay there. What is the secret behind this aspiration? I want to perform an accurate scientific field study about the conditions of this country, its history, culture, and religions. From what I heard, India is a country that's rich in knowledge, languages, and nature. This is why I have a keen desire to visit it. I think that I'll come out from this experiment with a great result. This is what I'm expecting as well. I'll send some soldiers with you to take you to India as soon as this battle ends. We will miss you a lot, Bruni. Oh, my friend, I'm happy with this relationship. Have a safe trip, Abu Rahan. Al Biruni spent a part of his life in India. He wrote notes about everything that he saw there. He wouldn't let anything pass without writing about it and analyzing it, and searching for its origins. What's the matter, Master? I feel that there is something hindering me from completing the research here. Is it related to the research tools? You can send me to buy more of them. No, no, I must become fluid in Sanskrit so that I can communicate better with the people of India and to understand their culture thoroughly. What? Are you going to learn a new language at this age, Abu Rahan? Why not? Al Biruni started studying the language of the people of India and he put together an important book about the culture and history of India. He mentioned it in the geography of India. He also mentioned the religious beliefs and the scientific knowledge of the Indians, including mathematics, astronomy, history, and other various sciences. You amaze me by your ability to learn rapidly, Master Abharan. You've become fluent in the Sanskrit language to the extent that you are translating books from it to Arabic. These translations will become a gateway to introduce to the world through it, a culture that he didn't know anything about. But what are you writing? It is a translation to Sanskrit. Are you good at writing it as well? Yes, I'm translating the most important sciences that we received from the Greek, and the most important writings from Arabic and Muslim scientists to Sanskrit. I think that people are required to learn about other nations and cultures as much as they can. This is how people can get closer to each other. Peace would prevail among them when they understand each other. Al-Biruni put together his conclusions in a book that he titled al qunun Al-Masur, referring to Sultan Masud al-Ghaznawi to whom he dedicated this book. It is a book that contains 11 units. Each unit is divided to many chapters. Their sum is 142 chapters. That includes all meteorological and astronomical theories at that time, in addition to what the scientists of the previous cultures and those who were contemporary of al Biruni had reached. Sultan Masood was very happy with this book and he was proud of it. What's the matter, soldier? His Majesty Sultan Masood has sent you this gift. Has the Sultan sent me camels? No, each of these three camels is laden with silver. What? What's the occasion? Because he admires the book that you've dedicated to him. Al Qanun Al Masud. Is that so? Okay, can you wait for a while? Your Majesty Sultan Masud. What's the matter? Scientist Abu Rahan Al Biruni is by the palace's door, and he's asking for permission to enter. 
Since when does Al Biruni need to take a permission to enter? He is not alone this time. What is this? Your Majesty, the Sultan. Aren't these the camels laden with silver? The ones that I had sent to you? Yes, Your Majesty. I came to return them to you. Why are you returning them? It's your right. No, Your Majesty. You sent it to me in return of al Kanun al Masud book that I had dedicated to you. Your Majesty, I serve knowledge for the purpose of knowledge. And I'm not doing it for money. I hope you'll accept my excuse. Peace be upon you. This was the devotion of Abu Rahan to knowledge. And he remained like this until the last day of his life. To the extent that the last thing that he asked about before he died was a question about law of inheritance that he didn't know. And he said about it, leaving this world while being informed about the answer of this question is better than leaving this world without being ignorant of it.